Hey guys, Jen here from Main and Suds and Such and to be scented. I am doing another wholesale order and this one is Pink Sands. Uh, I did this not too long ago so this is a repeat so if you guys don't want to watch you don't have to. Um, but yeah we're gonna do the same kind of design the pink bottom with the sage powder and then uh, somebody asked in another video if it discolors and it did not it stayed true to color um, or if it got like a halo effect around it it did not um, it actually turned out really really nice even at full cure um, so and then we'll do the pink or the pink bottom and then the blue and white top so in with our lye solution what is it yeah good job now as I said in a previous video I am out of gloves do not soap without gloves Unless you're experienced, 99% um, of experienced soap makers don't wear gloves when making soap. I always do just because I'm a hands-on person. And I like getting my hands in there and I always end up getting soap on me. So, yeah, I like to wear gloves. <laughs> but I actually am run out. So, soap at your own risk. Yes, it is very caustic. Yes, it can burn you. Does it burn you immediately? No. Uh, if you wash it off when you get it on you, there are no ill side effects. I have gotten raw soap on me many, many, many times. The one time, the one and only time I have ever been burned was actually from a lye bead. Um, I get my lye in a 50... Uh, pound bucket and I fill up a big container that I have with it to pour from and what I do is I take it and I put it in my bathtub shut the door to where nobody else is in there but me I turn an exhaust fan on and I actually put a towel around my face and um, I fill up my container down in the bathtub I Wow! That way, if any stray lye beads uh, get away from me, they're in the bathtub, and I just wash my bath afterwards uh, very well. I wash the bathtub out. My, it's, this, to me, it's the easiest way to contain and ensure that there's no stray lye beads on the floor or anything. So anyways, the only one and only time I ever burned myself was when I was cleaning up. Um, I actually... Uh, got a lye bead on my elbow during the cleanup process. Don't ask me how. I do not know. But you know, here I am bent over all in the bathtub cleaning and all that good stuff. I got one on my elbow and it actually uh, eat a hole through my elbow. And yeah. And it did not hurt. Uh, it actually um Look, Mama. Look. Yeah, it actually uh, itched. Did not hurt, it itched. And I scratched it and there was blood. And I was like, oh my goodness. So yeah, then I went and, you know, washed my arm off and ended up taking a whole shower and everything just to be on the safe side. <laughs> and yeah. But yeah, that, that's the one and only time I've ever been injured. And that was from not the soap itself. It's from a stray light bead. Oh yeah, and I wear gloves during that process too, definitely. <laughs> I never fill my container up without gloves and
So yeah, that's my one uh, terrible story that I've ever had. And it took a while for that to heal. It really did. Because, I mean, you know, you need a hole through my arm. Coconut milk. Right now, I'm going to divide off some for the bottom, add the sage powder and the pink color, a little bit of fragrance, and we'll get that poured. See, this is where my fingers would come in. <laughs> I wouldn't be using a, a towel, I would just use my finger. This is our cotton candy mica and sage powder. We do carry this on the website. It has a wonderful scent. No, that scent does not come through in the finished product. I've had people ask that too. Add a little bit of fragrance. I'm gonna blend this to get a nice trace because we want this to set up. I love the little speckles that it gives. It's a dead ball now, ain't it? Yeah, I'm lots of stuff in the bathroom. Now, yes, I'm going to get this all in there. this for my blue portion. I believe the last time I did it, the bottom was a little bit thicker, but I think I like this thinner bottom. It's kind of cute. Alright, so let's add the fragrance in this portion. For the white. So, Mama. Yes, Noah. I got something to show you. You do. Look what I found. Oh, wow. What, what is it? It's a ball. A hard one. Yep. Oh, look what's right here. Look. Yeah, I don't know what it's for. Is it for 
something? I think so. Could be. Probably the other piece of the other ball is stolen. Why? These are the same shape. Part is an in the pot swirl. Make sure this is all good. Making soap? What are you doing? With a little inch tinsel spoon. Yeah. I'm texturing the bottom. And this. Is that sound? It's that thing in there. Now. In the bathroom? Hmm? No, it's in my um drawer right there. Stop it. I can't. See, it's all done. Well, what are it doing? It was opening. Texture the top. It's going to run away from me into the whatever room. Oh, she took my ball! <sighs> she took the ball out that's found in the bathroom. It looks like a balloon. I'll get it here in 
just a second. You gotta let me get done. All right, guys, we'll bring you back for the cutting. We are back to cut the pink sands. So, and this one is part of the wholesale order. So, we're going to do one inch bars. I'm going to zoom you in. turned out very pretty and it smells awesome mommy yeah are you making a video yep are you yeah cutting soap are you gonna say you need to talk i'm talking a little bit why it's not going to place my car <laughs> take it that's a death dog all right Athena, leave the kids alone. Oh, I like that one. I was wondering where my dips were. Stop it. No. Athena, leave the kids alone. Turned out very pretty. I'm gonna go video do that, babe. That one's nice. 